Welcome to MMA Newt, and here's the timeline and everything you need to know about former bantamweight champ TJ Dillashaw's positive test result and subsequent suspension. December 28, 2018. Dillashaw is tested by USADA. The tests come back clean, but we'll get back to that later. January 19, 2019. Dillashaw challenges flyweight champ Henry Cejudo for the title and is tested ahead of the bout. Dillashaw loses the fight via first round knockout, but contests the stoppage. March 20th, 2019. Dillashaw posts on social media that he will be relinquishing his bantamweight title due to adverse findings discovered by USADA. The substance, however, is not made public. April 9th, 2019. USADA announces that Dillashaw has tested positive for erythropoietin, or EPO, a banned substance and that the fighter has been suspended for two years as a result. Later, April 9th, 2019, it turns out that Dillashaw tested positive for EPO back in December. However, special tests are required to detect EPO, which weren't administered at the time. Facts. Dillashaw will be able to return to MMA earliest on January 19th, 2021. Dillashaw has fully accepted the suspension. There have been many steroid allegations made towards Dillashaw, one of the most memorable coming from arch-rival Cody Garbrandt, who Dillashaw defeated twice via knockout. One of the accusations made um, at TJ was the fact that he'd uh, taken some special supplements. Oh yeah, the guy's on everything. Yeah. He's on everything. TJ? Yeah, I'm on everything. Come and te They test me every day, so come on, I'm on everything. <laughs> Funny, you're the one that showed everyone how to do it on Team Alpha Male. Yeah, I'm the one that's right, now look, bringing look it at in. Him. Yeah. Look at him. He has nothing to say. Jeff Nowitzki, UFC Vice President of Athlete Health and Performance, says the following. On a scale of seriousness in anti-doping, it's up near the top. EPO is a glycoprotein that stimulates red blood cells and it is an injectable-only substance, so it's not possible that it was ingested by a contaminated supplement. Dillashaw is the second UFC fighter to test positive for EPO. Glacian Tebow was the first, and also received a two-year suspension. Two years is the maximum USADA suspension for a first-time offender, meaning that Dillashaw was punished to the full extent. And that was the timeline and everything you need to know about Dillashaw's suspension. Be sure to subscribe to MMA Knit for more videos on an almost daily basis. Thank you, and we'll catch you in the next video.